Today, guys, we embark on a brand amazing new adventure. I'm wondering, maybe I shouldn't be quite as dramatic about that. Should I? Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Hey guys, Nate Willis here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, we shall be doing a brand new Minecraft amazing, delicious, awesome, I don't know why I said delicious, series thing. Yeah. And apparently we spawned in a jungle biome. So this is not just any normal Minecraft survival series. Pfft. Why would we do that? I have no idea. Why do I have a wooden pickaxe? Was there a bonus chest here? That like exploded? I have no idea why we would do vanilla survival. Do you know how boring that is? Today we are doing... Tech it light, and don't worry, I don't actually think vanilla survival is boring. Especially with new all the new stuff in 1.8, I may actually do a new survival series in vanilla sometime. But for now, we're doing this survival series in Minecraft 1.4.7, and this series is called Tech It. Oh yeah, what's the oh yeah part? But <laughs> so Tech It is actually it's a mod pack. It's an official Technic Launcher mod pack. Um, I'll. Basically, I'll show you guys how the Technic Launcher works in a future video, but anyways, back to this. So the Technic Launcher is basically a launch that you can use to get any mod packs that you want. Well, not any, but most mod packs that you can think of. And uh, now, for those guys not know what a mod pack is, it's basically just that, a mod pack. It's basically like a... just like a pile of different mods that are basically built into... Not, uh, I don't really know how to describe a mod pack that well. But for those guys who do not know what it is, it's basically when you install a mod pack, it installs, you don't even need to have Forge in order to get it to work. It, Forge is probably going to be one of the mods in there, but also it's going to include other mods to enhance gameplay. And that's basically what a mod pack is. So this mod pack is called Tech It, Tech it Light, actually, and it has like over... It has like 78 mods or something like that. Now guys, I did do a Tech It Light video earlier today. However, I'm doing this video to replace it. I'm not going to delete that other one. So if you guys kind of want to get an idea of what your first, first moments, I guess, in Tech It Light are going to be like, go ahead and watch that. And what is this? So go ahead and watch that to see I actually mentioned some of the mods in this. In that video, just so you guys know. And what is this? The oh wait, this is a rift. This is a um, rift, rift from Mistcraft. All right, I'm not ready to go in one of those yet. But if you guys still choose to not watch the video, even though whoops, even though I told you guys to watch it, if you want to actually know about all the mods in here, some of the mods we got going on are equivalent exchange. Um, I'm trying to find. I had a paper where I wrote down quite a few of the mods. Not all of them, but I can't find it. So we have Equivalent Exchange, Mistcraft, the Dimensional Doors mod. Um, trying to just see if I can remember most of them. What else do we have? Uh, Steve's Carts, Computer Craft, Build Craft. Um, trying to remember. I can't remember a lot of them. Industrial craft, I think that's one of the mods in here as well. I'll have um I'll have a list of the mods in the description, just so you guys know that. So Yeah. Now the reason I had to quit that series was because I like I only got like one episode in before. I didn't show it on camera, but my world actually became corrupt for some reason. And I couldn't manage to fix it and I decided to go ahead and start all over again with this world. So, now I actually did do a bonus chest, as you guys can tell here. And I think this is one of the new ores, isn't it? We're already getting a new ore four minutes in. What is this, though? I don't recognize it. Copper ore. Okay, now I don't really know what copper can be actually used in, but 
Of course, I do have the not enough items mod installed so I can look up crafting recipes and whatnot, so. I'll do that in just a minute. I assume this is maybe like a machine or something. I mean, I don't really know much about what ores can be used for, like, in real life, as for, like, you know, copper. I don't know what it would be used for in real life. I think you can make just tools out of it or something in real life, but just to verify, let's pull up not enough items here. I'm pretty sure I'm in recipe mode. Yeah. And let's type in copper. Now, instead of doing copper bar, like, okay, no, we right-click to see what things can be crafted into. Okay, so we can make like a copper chest using eight copper ingots and a chest in the middle. Copper to silver chest upgrade. Oh god. Wait. Copper upgrade. Oh god, that requires a lot of items. Let's see. Three copper. Raw plastic. Two redstone dust. And a gold nugget. Copper nuggets. Copper block. BT battery. Oh my god. So, yeah, we're gonna be making a lot of stuff in this mod pack. I have a feeling this is gonna be a very fun series. Now, now you guys, you probably saw that rift I saw there earlier. That is part of the one of the mods in this mod. What the? Right there. My character was moving without me even pressing any buttons. But one of the mods in this is called Mistcraft, and basically, for those of you guys not know what Mistcraft is, it's a mod that allows you to basically go through rifts in like the time space continuum and basically just yeah I think you get it now and also the dimensional doors and mistcraft are kinda connected basically the dimensional doors mod you can create what's called a dimensional door and actually I don't think that was a rift over there that was a dimensional door wasn't it I mean, there wasn't actually a door there. And I haven't used this mod pack before, so I'm gonna be quite newbie at, at first, probably. So if I'm just like screwing around, I have no idea what I'm doing at certain points, guys. Just don't hate me, because I'm quite new to this mod pack. I saw videos of it a while back, but that was so long ago, I just can't remember much of anything. So, yeah, um, we got these. I'm gonna grab these reeds, you know. You never know what they might be useful for. And alright, I don't have I don't have any wood yet, so I mean let's grab this oak wood here. Oh tree capitator mod for the win. I forgot the tree capitator is also one of the mods in this. Tree capitator is actually pretty useful. So basically, if I use an axe to break the bottom block of a tree, it gets rid of the leaves along with the wood blocks. It's kind of like the timber mod, except the difference is the timber mod only gets rid of the wood. Don't believe me? Go watch a mod review of it. <laughs> I, I mean, I would prefer this mod over the timber mod, because, like, you know, it also gets rid of the leaves and all that. So if you're dealing with a really big tree. But what exactly is this? Now, I'm just curious. Warp door, unstable door, dimensional door. Okay. Pocket dimension. I'm pretty sure. However, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna have to spawn in one item real quick here. Let me swap into creative mode here. I'm gonna spawn in what's called a linking book. Now, that's cause a linking book is actually, it's a miscraft item, okay? And I'm gonna, if, if this actually is basically gonna teleport me to a miscraft dimension, I'm gonna need this in order to get back here to the overworld, so. However, I have a feeling, oh, yeah, this is a, um, this is a, um, dimensional doors mod thing. So basically, 
when you go through one of these doors, it, it's going to teleport you to what's called a pocket dimension. And basically, this is just like a dimension that's like, if I actually... You can actually look outside here. It's basically like... Look at this. I'm in a pocket dimension. So, basically, I believe this goes out by 16, 16 by 16 blocks. Something like that. I'm not too much of an expert on the Dimensional Doors mod. Now, these iron doors, these bring us down one dimension. And you might notice there's wooden doors. I'm pretty sure the iron doors bring you down one dimension. The wooden doors bring you up one dimension. So, I think that's how it works. So, this is probably going to teleport me back to the overworld, I think. Okay, yeah, God, my game just glitched its face out. I was moving automatically. I'm pretty sure this is going to teleport me back home. Yeah. So now I'm back here in the overworld, and for some reason it placed the dimensional door. Josh, look! It placed the dimensional door above the water. What? No. So I want to go back in there, actually. Well, I'm not certain I'm really prepared much for a puck dimension yet. We're not going to head back in there now. Maybe episode three or something. I mean, right now we need to... We have some wood. Whoops. Now we're going to go ahead and do this. 12, and then 48, so we didn't even need the linking book, and there's a zombie over there, but, so, oh, come on, stop falling! Let's go ahead here, uh, I was about to try to do the click and drag, even though I'm in 1.4.7. I need to remember that. Oh, these are jungle planks. Those are okay. Well, we'll just make a frick load of sticks here. I mean, I just need to make a sword right now. I already had sticks. Oh my god, well now I have 21 sticks. I'll craft two swords, you never know. Could happen. Hold on. No, come here right away. Oh my god, you son of a 